Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I am the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and hit that bell notification to stay updated on all things PGL. Uh, we do digital planning, digital stickers, digital Bible study over here. So if that interests you, then go ahead and subscribe and stick around. So today's video, we're gonna be setting up the July Basics Planner. Um, I'm launching this Friday, Saturday, the 18th basically. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to film in advance some videos to show you how to set up each planner because there will be four different types. So there's the basics, which is the one I'm going to show you right now. There is the student planner, the teacher planner, and then the stay at home mom planner. So I'm using Pinly and I'm just going to show you a way you can go about doing this. You just want to import your PDF and all of my files are in Dropbox. If you're purchasing from me, then it's going to show up in a Dropbox format. So. You'll have 27 files here. There will be two planners here. I'm filming this in advance, so I have only the the uncompressed version. But you will have the uncom you'll have the excuse me the compressed version also to your usage if you prefer a faster, snappier experience. There will be a little bit of compromisation on the actual files look, but overall it will move faster. I personally use the uncompressed because I don't mind, and Pinley is pretty good at handling heavier files. So we're going to go ahead and pull in the planner. I'm just going to name it blush because that's the color we're going to be using for this particular one. Also the colors for the planners um, are blush, shades of lavender, deeply blue, and then ivory. So <clears throat> once you bring your planner in, um, and this is not the walkthrough video. I already filmed that if you're watching this. So if you want to see the walkthrough, that'll be the launch video and you can watch that on my channel. I will try my best to um, have a playlist set up for the planners that are in the shop on my my um, my YouTube but anyways so here's the planner and this is us getting it set up so the first thing you notice is this beautiful wonderful textured background here on this fabulous uh, planner screen it's going to feel very snappy um, you click the the um, what do you call it the cover and it's going to take you straight to your index but you want to swipe back. There's some things here. You have a dashboard here set up, um, as well as a little note from me on the first page and a few links that you can use. Um, <clears throat> my website, my social media, all of that's there. If you want to be a part of the Facebook group after you've purchased, I really recommend that because I do a lot of polls, ask a lot of questions about future kits that I might release that would be helpful for your, your planner. So it's always useful. Now with the basics planner, you are going to get a couple of things. As you saw in the file, you get like 26 different items. I already have them pulled into Pinley, but I'm gonna show you briefly how you would go about doing that. <clears throat> so what you wanna do, hold on, let me see here. We're gonna go into my Dropbox. Okay, so what you're gonna do is that you're going to go in, say if you wanted to download the 90 degree days of the week view, and this is the dark view. So these are the black days of the week. It just means that they're set up to where they go at that 90 degree angle. You'll check mark all of them. You'll hit save to device. And then you'll want to go ahead and save them to a folder. I'm just gonna put 90 degree uh, sticker weeks. I already have these in my pen list, so I'm gonna delete it after we do this, but I just wanna show you how you would do this. You'll hit use folder, you'll hit allow, oops, and it's going to, um, it's going to basically give you uh, a second here to extract all of those wonderful stickers. And then once it's done, you won't see anything down here. So it's still exporting, I can see the numbers changing, so we're just gonna wait for that to go away. All right, it's gone away. So now we're gonna go into Pinley, and then you'll go onto the picture uh, sticker function here. You'll hit create category from folder, and then you'll locate your folder. So we know we labeled it. It ended up being 900 sticker weeks. But yeah, so you'll hit use folder, you'll hit allow, and then boom, you've got your stickers there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete those because I don't need any duplicates in here. I have so many stickers in here. And just to answer you guys, um, I do know I did get this question in my group. It doesn't matter how many stickers you add in here, I have not experienced any lag and I have so many things in here. Okay, 
So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're, uh, you've are you got your planner here is you're going to want to set it up. You're going to want to personalize it and make it look special. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a cover on it. And the beautiful thing about these planners is that they come with covers. So I'm going to go to the, sun, uh, the blush planner and I'm going to locate the covers in here. And luckily, like I said, everything is labeled. So you get five covers in here. They're all very pretty. But I think right now I'm leaning toward this one. So I'm gonna click it and wait for Pinley to bring it in. I don't know if I, okay, there we go. Um, there we go. And I'm just going to drag it across like so. And then I'm gonna turn the image function off. And now that's the first thing I've done. I've set the vibe for my planner. I have this pretty cover on here. It's really nice. And so now I'm going to go ahead and go to the main page here. And so the first thing I also like to do is label it. So I'm just going to put my planner. Which is really cute, right? Make it look nice and pretty. Um, another thing that you get in here in this kit um, is that you get border decorations and so I'm going to go find those. It's really, really nice to have access to all of this stuff. I wanted to give you guys a super packed uh, kit because I wanted to give you guys an experience where you can really set up your planner without having to buy anything else once you've purchased your kit you can go ahead and just have a blast. Oops. So let me do that again. I don't want to overstretch it. And then I'll just use the crop tool to cut it right about there. And now look how pretty we're already starting to really fill the vibe of our planner. And we haven't even done anything major. Also, before we get into decorations, if you did not watch the walkthrough, one of the things that you're going to want to know is that your binder rings are your navigation. Because if you'll notice, when we go to the front cover and we go into the index, there's nothing on the side or anything like that. Your navigation are your binder rings. So say if I want to go to my year at a glance, I'll click that and I'll get there. But we'll set that up momentarily. Um, if I want to get to the index, I'll press the top rings. And then in some instances, the middle bar will take me somewhere, like if I'm in the um, devotional and say that I'm on one of these, I would press that to get back to my devotional. So just so you know, there's navigation in the binder rings. When you're talking about your custom sections, when you click on that, you have all of your custom sections in tabs. So it feels like a completely different segment of the planner, but you can still press that middle part to get to those areas of your planner. So. And that is in the how to use my planner. You click that and it takes you to your help page where you can figure out what to press to get around your planner. So it makes it easy to navigate. Another thing that you'll get in your planner kit is the dashboard system. It's so awesome. I think, I'm not sure, I'm not gonna say this like confidently, but I do think PGL is the only planner kit out here or planner system that has a dashboard system as of right now. I haven't seen it on the market. So I don't know you guys, I think I might be the first. But what you'll do, it's the wrong thing, I didn't mean to press that. What you'll do is you'll bring it in the same way I showed you how to bring in your stickers. You'll do that for all of this. Um, and we're gonna go to the July dashboard. It is so pretty and you get so many pretty items. Also, you do get, the, uh, you do get a hex code inside of your dashboard kit. There's a hex code for the uh, July planner covers. It's this. So if you want to load those into Pinley, which I'll show you how to do momentarily together, we'll do that. Um, we'll load those in. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do that now because it takes no time at all. So what we're going to do is have that there for reference. <clears throat> and we're going to go to our pencil first because it's the easiest one to kind of load it into. Now, I've already got, I think I got the... Um, the other ones in here. I wish we could add more colors, but I'll just show you, for example, I'll do one color. So say if you want to add this, uh, this green in, because it's really pretty, you'll just type it in here. So let's see here. The green is B6, B, A, 99. Yep. And then you'll tap the circle and now we have the green there. Now for the highlighter, 
when you want to do it, you'll go down here. Okay, keyboard, pop up. Now I need you. Okay, I guess we'll use our hand. Okay, so for the, the highlighter there, I can't see though. Okay, wait, I'm sorry you guys. I'm trying to do this where the little mini keyboard will pop up because I can't see. I guess I'll just move this. I wanted it to be right there, but whatever. Let's move you over here. Okay, and let's do that again. So for the highlighter, the way you'll do it, it is a little different because of the uh, way that this is set up. You will need to put two capital F's in the front. I know that has to do with the opacity, but if you don't put it there, I haven't experienced it where it actually moves and changes color. So we're gonna put FF and then we're gonna put B6BA99, which is the hex code for that. And you see it went to the green. Then you're gonna tap the plus sign and you will have your uh, color there and so on and so forth. The same thing for text, you'll put capital FF and then put the hex code. So that's how you'll add your hex codes in for the hex code that you get with the kit so that you can have your planner match your setup as far as your colors. And then for the dashboard, you can set yours up however you want. Of course, this is the blush dashboard, so let me go in here and get it because I realize I have only the one for Deeply Blue. That's the one that I'm using. So let me go in here and let me, hey, ooh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Let me grab the dashboard. Where is it? I think this is it. Yep. I gotta wait for it to come in though. I should have loaded these in already. My internet's been acting really stupid. So what I'm gonna do, because I do have some pink pockets, I'll just show you how to do it with the pink pockets that I have. <clears throat> because yeah, my internet is not the best right now for some reason. It's been giving me the hardest time. So we'll just use the blush pockets here and then I'll go back to the other one just so I can show you how to work it. Because if you've never used it, you may be a little confused about how to go about it. Okay, so we're back on our dashboard. So with this pocket, all you're gonna do is just line it up with the pocket that's already here. So in order for it to look like it's a part of the planner, right? Because you want it to look real. And then what you'll want to do is you'll go to your crop. And the good thing about Pinley is that you can crop it while you're on the page. So you can see where you want it. So I want it to come right above that little fold in the pocket. That way, if I put stuff underneath it, it will look like it's underneath the pocket. And so now I'm going to duplicate that and put one here and make it fit right there. And then I like to do a little strip pocket. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna crop it with the image tool here. And I'm gonna put it over here to create like a little strip pocket, like I said. And then I'm gonna crop it down just a little bit because it's a little too, too long. There we go. Get away from me, I'm filming. Um, Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Ooh, so I, meant to, I meant to turn my phone on silent. Or at least on vibrate. Okay, so now we have our pockets set up. We can actually put in some accessories. So I love this pretty little card. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to tilt it. And then I'm going to grab something else. Let me see. I want to use... Like maybe a little list this and you can actually write on these so they're not just like decorative you can put notes you can put like maybe simple to do's that you have I'm gonna make it a little shorter than that and I'm gonna use the selection tool and I'm gonna tap both of them and I'm gonna hit the back button so that they go behind the pocket and then from there you can adjust how you want them to look in the pocket which I think that looks really pretty and then I'm going to grab one more item and we're going to move on to something else. So this is a really pretty card. So you can just pop this here and I'm going to take it and put it to the back. And now, so we have like the start of our setup for our planner, right? 
So the next thing that you're gonna come into is your actual like index. And I personally like to set up my year at a glance first. So this is the year at a glance page and I'm gonna show you mine for the sake of time in my planner because obviously <laughs> there's a way that you can do this that's really nice. I have a lot of files in here now, but this is how I've set up my year at a glance. I created a color key with the sticker that comes with the planner. It's in the functionals, functional stickers folder and you can crop that and set it up however you want to. But the color key basically allows you to color code. So you can use your hex codes from your kit and you can put like these dates are for faith uh, holidays, these are important dates, business related anniversaries, birthdays, hol holidays, and you can have it there. You have a 12 month uh, set up here and you can put your main focus for each month. So for me, I know that the start of the undated planner version uh, is something that I want to get out. I want to do a, um, an undated planner of this version and this setup to replace the ones that are in the shop so that they all flow even more seamlessly. Um, and then once you've set up all your dotted dates and your, your dashboard and your color key, what you can do next, when you tap on this little calendar over here, it's going to take you to like a little page where you can kind of set up um, I'll show you what it looks like in this planner um, so that you can see what it looked like before it got decorated. When you tap on it, it's just this. You have each month over here and then you have a blank spot. So what I did was I used one of the inserts that are on sale in the shop. It is in the monthly and yearly view uh, review insert pack. This is the My Year in Review insert. So I put it on that side with a border decoration from the Stay at Home Mom kit. And then I use the functional list sticker and I use the gray date dots as well as the uh, month stickers that all come with this planner and I set up each day. So say when I go back here in the month of September, I have a lot of dots and yes, I know what the colors mean, but what are those specific dates? When I click on this and I go to September, I have a list of all of those dates and what they mean. Um, so I have birthdays then, there's Labor Day, Patriot Day, start of fall. So all of that's in there and I can see that. So that's what I'm using that page for and you can do that exact same thing. Um, now, the basics kit does not come with any inserts, but I wanna show you how, first let's, hmm, let's talk about the actual function of the planner. So the way that the PGL system works, once you've set up your year at a glance, you're gonna wanna go to your actual month view. So you're gonna click on the little bottom bars here to get to your month and you'll click on whatever month it is. So when you've purchased this, it'll be July. You're gonna end up at this dashboard for your month, right? Where you have like a list here, there's 31 days in July, so you have 31 days here. You can put what's going on on each day in a list view, which is really nice. You have a master list, you have your verse of the month, you have a dashboard where you can use your dashboard system, but then you have this section here where you have some date, um, some things. It says month view, weekly views, daily views, and trackers. So you can do this so many ways, and I love that because when you click on month view, it's going to take you to a divider that says month view, but there's nothing behind it, right? Let's go to our index by tapping that first button up there at the top, and when you click on monthly templates, you have 13 different monthly templates to choose from to set up your planner, which I love. I think it's so awesome. I'm so happy about that because sometimes you want a different month set up. So say if you have like a semi busy month, you really don't plan on using that many weekly views, that many daily views, you'll be able to track your full month. You can have a verse for the month. You have a monthly tracker here. You have a progress keeper of any important things you need to complete. You have a currently reading, currently watching, you have your monthly spending, whatever it is, it's all here, right? So say I really like this month setup. I will go to the pages here and I'll hold it down and I will copy this page. Then I'm gonna go back. Now I'm going to go to July, click on month view, go back in here and I'm gonna hold it down and hit paste after. Now, when I go here and I swipe, I have a month view here. It's so convenient because say this is for my work. Say this is the month view for my work. So I have this for my, workly, my work month view, but I need a calendar for maybe personal. 
then I can go in here, go to my monthly calendar uh, templates and say I don't need it to be so busy, I don't want a busy month, uh, and say I want it in dark mode. Then I can take this one, I can copy it, go back here, tap on that, go to July, go to my month views, and then swipe and paste this behind my main month view. So I'll hit paste after. And so now I have this monthly view for July, like my main work, but then I have my night, view, my dark view. And don't worry because I've provided what you need for your dark mode. So for dark mode, you have a white script kit. So say you need to pack, you can put packing here and it's in white, you'll be able to see it, it's nice and clear. And if you have shot my shop, then there's icon stickers that will go really well on here because I did them neutral colors. So let me go to those really quick. Let's go to gray icons, which are here. And since I put that I'm packing, let me get like a little moving, I can use this. Then I can put this here and then say I need some date dots. That comes with your planner as well. So let's go to the white date dots or the dark view date dots. You have a few options. You could do the uh, light view date dots. You can do, because the light view date dots are just white um, with a gray letter inside. So you could do those, or you could do your dark view date dots, with or, which are black and will blend in with the view so that if you just want that number without like actually being able to see a round thingy, then you're good to go. Or you can do the gray date dots which offer a gray background with a white number. So that's completely up to you. And then for your days of the week, of course, I provided as well. You also get a white month sticker. So say if the month is June, then you would just put June over here and you have it in light mode. And then you got your days of the week in dark mode. So you could start your days of the week on Monday. You can start them on Sunday, whatever you wanna do. And then, also, I meant to mention this earlier. Look how cute that is to have that above the Monday. That's really nice. But for my Monday start people, I did give, um, there are, what am I trying to say? There are Monday start mini months. So in your, this stupid fly is ruining my video. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, where are my mini months for Monday? There they are. So I'm not sure if these are, those are the dark, the light view ones but my internet's acting stupid, so I'm just gonna show you the ones that I have already in here. Um, let me see, where are they? Doo, doo, doo. I try to give you guys everything. Like, when I say everything, I mean everything. So these are your mini months. You'll have a Monday start pack, mini month in dark view, and a month. basically you're gonna have four packs of mini months. Uh, two dark view, two light view, one, uh, one set will be Monday start, one set will be Sunday start. So if this is June, then you'll have a dark view mini June that you can put over here to the side. And look how perfect that is, blends in perfectly fine. So you can set up your month, you can put your days up here, you're good to go. So you have that dark view option. And when you swipe, you still have your main month here, but you also have your like whatever other month here. Same thing for your daily and weekly views. So if we go to July and we go to our weekly views, if we swipe, there's nothing behind there because you have templates for that. So you'll go to your weekly, weekly templates and you'll pick out whatever, because the reason this is done like this, <clears throat> it's not a lazy thought process. I could link all the days and all the weeks to the month, but I like to change up the way my day view looks. I like to change up the way my month view looks, my week view looks because life changes and you can't use the same, excuse me, view all the time. I know I don't, otherwise I'll stop using the planner. Um, I'm gonna stop this and start it so I don't lose you guys. Yeah, so for me personally, I like to have options and so that's what I've done. I've given you options so you don't have to use the same view. And then say if you don't wanna plan your week that week, you don't feel like you're wasting a week because you have weekly templates versus linked weeks and you have plenty of them to choose from where you're really not going to get bored. 
you can do whatever you want. Same thing with the daily templates. You have 18 daily templates to get you around and allow you to build up your month. Now for the trackers, this is where it gets interesting, right? So you have a few different ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you some of my trackers. So in my planner, actually, let me go here. And we're, I'm in July. I've already started setting up July. So in my trackers for the month of July, if I swipe, I already have my budget set up here. I took a plain month view from the month view templates and I set up a month view to go ahead and start tracking my bills. So I, I haven't written any in because I knew I would be filming. I didn't want to show you guys personal information, but I have that there. And then I have my budget worksheet that comes with the planner, which I, where I can write my incomes, my fixed expenses, my debt, my savings, my other expenses, and then I can total that up here. So just using the month here, I'll be able to fill out this worksheet and you know use that as a tracker. You can also track your health and fitness. There's different trackers here. You would just copy and paste them behind the trackers tablet like I showed you before with the week. So you have your sleep tracker, self-care tracker, fitness tracker, period tracker, uh, meal planner tracker. You also have a weekly meal plan if you wanna track that and a recipe card if you wanna use that. There's different ways you can go about it. Or, 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 <laughs> you can go to your notebook and you can grab either a light view blank page or a dark view blank, blank uh, excuse me, blank page. I'm gonna use the light view. And let's copy and paste this. Let's grab it. And let's go, I don't know why I clicked on that. Let's, I'm in the wrong planner anyways. I'm supposed to be showing it to you guys in this, but I guess we'll do it in here. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to trackers. And since I already have two trackers in here, we're just gonna paste it after. And so in the shop, there is a to-do list uh, insert. It's very simple, very basic. Um, and so I've already brought it in here. I put all of my inserts inside of my stickers because my inserts are basically stickers. Um, which makes it really convenient, right, to have it in here. So let's say, actually let's say I wanna do book review inserts. I wanna track my reviews on books that for that month. Then I'll click on it and put it in here. It's the beauty of having these inserts for sale in my shop, I love it, because then you can track whatever you want. There's so many different types of inserts. Um, and you can track your book, you can put the book title, the author, what your review was, um, another one you could do, let's see here, let's see, let's see here, doo, doo, doo. no, that's the dark view version of that, that's the stay at home mom, here's the healthcare tracker, so say if you want to track your vitamins and supplements and medications, then you can use that insert and put it behind your trackers for the month and it's like having those little plastic pill cases you'll have that inside of your tracker area and you can track those items as well so you can make this planner whatever you want it to be we're going to go back to the blush one because that's the one that we have set up with the july stuff but yeah you can make this planner whatever you want it to be and i also included some decorative stickers which you will find you'll bring them in the same way that you brought in everything else that I've, you know, that I showed you, the uh, black stickers that we did in the beginning, you're gonna bring your stickers in the same way. You can go through the folders and see everything that you have. Of course, the walkthrough video is gonna show you in more detail what you have, um, but you can really make this planner your own. Your planner comes with bookmarks, so you could put a bookmark where you want to. Of course, this would not be an ideal page to sit a bookmark, but say if you wanted one right there, you know, just for the sake of it and say if you want to use some decorative stickers which i'm looking for right now um here we are then you can use these two because i've made them match the planner setup so you can put like your little planner sticker over here um you could put this little soap bar decorative floral sticker over here like you can have so much fun with what comes with this planner it's ridiculous like how many items actually come with this planner mini months bookmarks all sorts of goodies that you can pretty much make your own 
But um, yeah, that's essentially setting up your July basics planner. Of course, there's so much to this. Watch the plan with me's. Those videos are gonna help tremendously with using this planner. Join the Facebook group. That's gonna help you tremendously with using this planner. I just wanted to show you an idea or two um, about it. As far as your custom sections, it'll work the same way I just showed you with the trackers. You would go and buy inserts from my shop to put behind here. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Uh, to show you how to bring in an insert just really quickly, you would go to the download button and you would go to your Dropbox. Say if you purchase the wedding insert, let me find the blush one. There we go. Then you would tap that and it would insert it in there for you. Whoops, did I paste it? I sure didn't. Um, actually, I think it went in there. No, here it is. So then you'll hit paste because it says 51 pages copied. It says 51 pages copied. I'm gonna paste it behind that custom section. And so now I'm gonna title this section Wedding Planner. And then I'm gonna make that bigger so you can actually see it. And so now when you swipe, you have your wedding planner insert in here. So when you type the little home down there, you've got all of your templates all over here. You have the let's plan the wedding inserts and then you have your actual visual corner and you have, I think these are like how you get around the actual planner itself. You've got vision boards. There's like a ton of things inside of the wedding planner insert, but you see what I'm saying? Like you can customize this planner to your liking and I love how the custom section looks completely different from the actual main portion of the planner. When you go back here, there is there are no you know sections there to interrupt your planning space. If you're curious about all the things that this planner comes with, like I said, I highly recommend the walkthrough, but that's just kind of an idea of what you can do with your planner, with the things that came with the planner. Um, also for my Monday Start people, if you don't like these mini months here, all you have to do, I know I don't have the Monday start mini months, but I'm just gonna show you per example. So you'll take your mini month that has the Monday starts. Let me find it. Where are my mini months? Here they are. So July, right? You would just drag this mini month over that. And so now it's a, pretend like it's a Monday start there, right? because those will come with your planner. When you click it, it'll still work. You know, it'll still take you there. And you can take the same mini month that you just put there and you can copy it. And when you go to July, you can also paste it here and have it over this month so that, you know, it's all Monday start. That way you're not, you know, feeling like, oh, you know, I wish this planner was a Monday start. It absolutely can be. It can be whatever you want it to be, but that's, that's essentially it, you guys. Um, I'm gonna let you go. I just really wanted to show you guys how you can set your planner up. Um, there's the vision board. Nay, <laughs> if you're watching this, I thought about you, girl. I mean, honestly, I did this before I watched your video, but I laughed so hard because I had already had the file set up for everything. I was like, she's gonna love that I did the vision board uh, blank like this because that was something that I thought about too. But um, yes all done you guys i hope you enjoy your planner if you purchased it and you're watching this and you're just trying to figure out how to play around with it those are some ideas uh, for me definitely check to, uh, check out the inserts that are in the shop so you can personalize it um, there's a gaming insert there's quarterly planning there's to-do list there's an address book insert you know and they're all stickers so you can load them into pinley like i showed you how to do your stickers so you can have all your inserts and stickers organized It'll make planning so much easier. But with that being said, God bless. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.